ugly to beautiful. We're talking about fine art, uh, beautiful works of art. Rob Cowley, consigner, Canadian uh, fi fine art president. That's right. That's right. How are you? I'm excellent. How are you today, John? I'm well. Uh, this is to me, I said to you right away uh, that this seems like the hardest job in the world. How do you appraise art and its value? It's, uh, there's many factors involved. I mean, um, we, um, we talk a lot about almost 10 commandments, and they're very basic. I mean, it be as simple as the size of a work of art. Um, okay. uh, larger works tend to, be, tend to be a little bit more valuable. The artist, obviously, the subject matter as well. And I mean, these are five works here that are being offered through our sales coming up, all different values um, and all different backgrounds as well. And they're all available at consigner.ca. Okay, yeah. so when you say a larger piece of art, there's also a, a bigger risk for an artist in a large piece of art, You're right? absolutely right. It and needs you, to be something that really speaks to the buyer really speaks to the buyer and you're finding more and more in the uh, in the society we're living in now there's a lot of downsizing mm -hmm. extremely large pieces of art as well can actually can be a detriment to the value as well Isn't because not everyone has a wall for it all right so yeah. uh, as usual when it comes to something that's unique you have to find that niche buyer Definitely. for that okay so you have online auctions going on? We do. We have an auction opening this Monday. You can actually view it now at consigner.ca. It opens on Monday. It runs until the uh, the 25th. To Wednesday. me, this is, this is a really good way to do something online because uh, I don't actually have to I get a really good idea online by looking at something, right? You certainly can. And yeah. we also offer live previews. So in our offices in Toronto, we have a gallery space in Toronto across from the AGO. You can also come in and view all the artwork in person as nice. well. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Can I try Absolutely. and... Um, not decide on the price of these because no. that depends on the market, obviously. Mm -hmm. But maybe which one's worth more? Would of you course. have an idea of what's? Oh, right definitely, here? I do. I certainly do. Okay. Um, did you want to give me? Uh, did you want me to give you a little bit of an intro to each, or do you want to just yeah, try it said, cold? Uh, or um, I think I should just try it cold sure. because I think the artist actually goes toward it. I don't have any background information no on either of these, so let me try and rank this here. And can I actually grab this? Can absolutely hand we from can, you yeah. so people can see. This moose uh, silhouette, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. it. In fact, I, I, I like much of the art here on the table. And then uh, hold that right I'll hold there. That and there. then the one beside it here of a beautiful, uh, typical Canadian, almost like a fall scene, beautiful fall colors. Definitely. I would say this is worth more. That would be my guess. The most on the table? Yes. That is the least. <laughs> Ah, and the perfect. reason the reason for that is the medium. It's actually a print. It's a, it's a silk screen okay, by okay. AJ. It's, it is a member of the group of seven, so definitely your eye is fantastic. And that you know the, the group of seven certainly are those blue chip Canadian artists. On the table, um, the work by Charles Pactor, the Moose, is actually valued at between seven and nine thousand. So you are at the wow. high end with that. Wow. Um, the most the highest value here though would actually be the work by Cornelius Kriegoff. <laughs> This is from 1860. Oh, really? So it's 150 years old. Um, this is a subject he was very well known for, depicting we both. We just a little more, yeah, right? Absolutely. There we go. There, there we go. go. There. A little perfect. less glare. Yeah. He was. Uh, he was. He's quite well known for depicting both uh, both the Habitant people and the native people of Canada. Isn't that amazing? Um, this artwork would value between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars. When I'm on the site, do I get the story behind? You do. And you that makes, do. makes a huge difference. And you can also contact us directly oh, regarding right? uh, further information. Okay, Absolutely. that's great. Yeah. Talk to me about the one closest to you. This is a work by Maud Lewis. Maud Lewis was a folk artist who lived in Digby, Nova Scotia, and uh, she became very famous in 1965 when a CBC documentary about her life was run. And this is from 1964. It's an important period. Uh, this is. In the sale next week and it runs between three and five thousand dollars yeah it's beautiful and you know what um, I don't know how artists do this they, they happen to capture elements Definitely. depends on what element you're talking about but that captures uh, it's something very Canadian about very it, Canadian, right? Very joyful, very, mm -hmm. and, and it it, it, her paintings reminded her of her childhood and the most joyous, uh, the most joyous scenes from her childhood. So where, capture her where are your buyers coming from? From across Canada. We find okay. it from across Canada mainly with Canadian art, but you do, do also find, obviously, with the online platform as well, it allows for global participation with smartphones, tablets, and obviously computers as well. Because to me, uh, Americans sometimes have a little affinity for Canadiana. True. That painting right there that we last spoke about uh, seems to be a, uh, a pretty, there would be a chance of that going to the States, no question. That's true. Uh, if you want to know more, it's consigner.ca. Consigner.ca. That's uh, S-I-G-N-O-E-O-R. That's right. That's there right. you go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rob. Thanks, Appreciate Jeff. that.